Hi, I'm George Hickox, and I'm here to try to help you and answer a few questions. Uh, you can also visit our website at www.georgehickox.com uh, and look at video clips and training advice and articles, and maybe you'll find something that uh, will either interest you or help you. I hope so. The question I have in front of me right now is how old should a dog be before you introduce him to the gun? And my answer to that, along with the way I would answer any question, is it's not a case of age. We don't use age, we use benchmarks. When a dog is doing this, we do that. If he's not doing this, we don't move. So if he can't graduate from the first grade, we're not gonna put him in the second grade. So in the case of the gun, our benchmark is the dog must be aggressively chasing birds and be completely confident with birds. If he's not confident with birds, if he has any apprehension about the bird, we're not ready to go to the gun. A dog that has apprehension with a bird, that's a bigger priority than the gun. If he has a problem with the bird, the gun doesn't make any difference, so the bird comes first. So once the dog's been properly introduced to a bird, uh, we start with a lock wing pigeon that can't flap, so it can't spook the dog, and the dog will pick that up. No matter what breed, flushing dog, retriever, or pointing dog, we need to properly introduce him to bird. When the lock wing pigeon doesn't scare him, we go to a clip wing or a Velcro tape bird that can fly, but now it flaps. And when he picks that up, okay, which might happen the first or the second time, or it might take a week, but that's the benchmark. When he does that, we're going to introduce him to the flush to make sure the flush of the bird doesn't startle him and scare him. And when the bird flushes, he chases it. He says, it's mine. I'm a predator. That's my prey. And I'm going after it. I'm birdie. Gosh, this is... The bird's not supposed to be a case of life and death. It's more meaningful than that. If it's not very important to the dog, don't worry about the gun. So when the bird has been established, that's the time to introduce him to the gun. What we're going to do is we're going to take the pigeon's wings, put a piece of velcro around it so it can't fly far, and we're going to throw it. And the dog's going to be all over it like a dirty shirt. He's running as fast as he can go, saying, I got you, I got you, I got you. And this bird's going to come down. As the bird is coming down, I have an assistant 50 to 60, 75 yards away, start off with a 22 crimp and fire a 22 crimp as I'm watching the dog. He can't miss, my assistant can't miss this bird because it's a Velcro wing bird. It is coming down. I've got my focus on the dog. If I can imagine that the dog heard the shot, I stop and I go back to more birds. In this case, because he's already chasing it, if his focus is not 100% on the bird, and there's any distraction from that, I'm gonna look at it as he's not pretty enough yet, and I'm gonna go back to more birds. So then I'm gonna move, if he shows no apprehension about the shot in conjunction with this bird that he's chasing, I'm then gonna move my assistant closer and closer until I can throw the bird and from 10 yards away, okay, my assistant fires a 22 crimp. When I'm there, I repeat exactly the same steps. Throw the bird, have my assistant back, okay, and I now go to a 410 shotgun, when I repeat the steps, the same as I did with the 22 grip or the 410, I go to a 28 gauge, then I go to a 20 gauge, and then I go to a 12 gauge. At that point, I put some birds out in the field, I plant them, and I'm going to shoot one shot and one shot only. When it comes to the gun or birds, I'm paranoid. If the dog has a bird problem or a gun problem, you don't have a bird dog. So if you start off saying, I'm paranoid, I'm afraid he will be gun shy, and you take the proper steps, he never will be.